Hi everyone. So today I'm going to do like a Sephora little mini haul of some of the things that I've gotten. Like this is my like, I come home and I see this box and it just makes me happy. Um, and that, so just a few things that I kind of picked up. Uh, and that just trying out some of like their new things that I'm kind of excited for. So they have the ordinary multi-peptide serum for hair density. So I think I was, um, like someone was like applying it to their eyebrows that I saw. Um, and that, that I'm going to do that right now. So you definitely get like a good size bottle. So apply a few drops as needed. Um, so ideally at bedtime to a clean, dry scalp, massage in, and leave this treatment on. I feel like I'm just going to kind of take a drop, put it through my eyebrows. and I'll kind of test out and check back in how it's working if I feel like I just feel like kind of my front line I would like I just feel like I just like to try it and like it's maybe a little bit more expensive for the ordinary um but still for like $17, I don't think it's that bad. So I'm excited to try it out and see if it works. I also, going through hair care, got uh, Sephora's scalp scrub. And it's just like, almost like a toothpaste smell, but like, in a good way. Definitely like a doc, like a dentist. Maybe like, like kind of weird, but I think it kind of smells like mint floss, that kind of smell. Uh, and that, so I think for 10 bucks, like it's not too bad of a size. Uh, it's definitely like thicker. Uh, cause I think it's a salt in it definitely looks like more like a salt. Generally I find sugar scrubs like a little bit smaller and your salt's a little bit more coarse. So I'm going to be excited to try that out and kind of check back in. Going with hair care, I got their bobby pins and I want to test these out because I need to find like a good bobby pin. Like I used to go to our dens and they were great, but they kind of like have changed their bobby pins that like it just doesn't stay in my hair. And I like to do like little twists. So I'm really looking for some good bobby pins out there that don't cost a fortune. So like this is maybe a little bit up there in price, but I'm hoping that it's strong, that it lasts and it doesn't kind of like bend out. And it comes like in a nice little bag that makes it easy for kind of like storage because I definitely have like bob pins all over my house. Um, and then uh, just to kind of help me get to some point levels, I did get the Sephora Honey Sleeping Mask. Uh, I got Melks watermelon brightening face mask so like i will try this again see like no so i got the green one and like could not get this off for the life of me and this just popped off so i'm still standing by like i got a defective product i don't think like my product personally was defective not necessarily the product itself and look like it moves up like this is what I wanted so that's why I wanted to like try again because I like the concept of like just kind of apply it to your face and that 
So I like Melk's kind of branding and all that. I just got a bad product and like, I'll be like, again, like, oh, I push up. So turning it, it pushes the cap up just like all other milk products that I've tried. So defective product. And I just feel justified that, yeah, the green one that I got was no bueno. Uh, and people are like, you're crazy. I'd be like, yeah, it's okay. Um, my next one is I got Natasha, Natasha Denona, their bronzer and highlighter. So I do think like for $23, I like it. I liked their blush and highlighter, but I think I would like this one. So just kind of swatching, like they feel nice in that. Kind of like hey, might be like I think the bronzer will kind of sheer out enough to work with my skin, so I'm excited to give that a try. And then uh, some of the bone beauty bonuses because I think for Sephora, I would always buy kind of like online because you get more, right. Um, as long as you're like spending over $50 or, uh, you're a VIP Rouge. So you get free shipping. So worthwhile. This is three different purchases. So for one of my add-ons, I got the pump and volume from Dior and I really did like this mascara because I felt like it lengthened my lashes and like really gave me bam lashes. Um, from Peter Thompson Roth, their vitamin C serum. Right, so anything with skincare to keep me young, I'm all for. And then my last one is Glam Glow's Super Toner. So I definitely think with Glam Glow, oh. Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted. I'm a squirrel. So this is really cool because it's kind of like shiny. Like it's shiny a little. So I think it's pretty. Uh, and that, so forgive my squirrel moment. Um, like I feel with Glam Glow, you won't get it like not right away with their new products. Do they kind of do little samples? But if you give it a month or two, then they come out and you can see really, is it worthwhile? And that, and I like that. I appreciate that, that, cause I think like if a product's good, they'll want you to test it to get addicted. So it just makes me feel like, yeah, this product must work if like they're going to give it away, you know, and that's so I uh, haven't gotten around to editing my first video and I've gotten some more stuff from Sephora. So like I'm always kind of buying from them. They are an addiction. People say I should stop, but I can't. I love them. This is it's what gets me through my day when I have to deal with horrible people. I'm like, okay, I can go home, hug my makeup go to like my happy place so definitely in my closet is my happy place I just find it like so de-stressing so sorry to anyone who's like stop buying things um but going through um some more of my Sephora haul so basically like a lot of the times I'll look to see what their beauty offers are and like what their samples are because I think like that's the best part about Sephora where you really can try things maybe like uh, like higher end things for a little bit like basically a little bit cheaper so it works out a little bit in the end especially some of the products I find from like drugstore versus Sephora like it's not that big of a price difference and then 
like I get more rewards with Sephora but I'm like okay let's do it some other things are way more expensive uh and that but um what really made me kind of purchase was the Playa um shampoo because I really wanted to try it and I think like uh I want to see how it is first before maybe purchasing it because it is just kind of like more expensive out there and sometimes I'm kind of skeptical about some of those expensive brands because I just feel in testing some of the things out they're not always the greatest and then I feel like I really wasted my money um so I did do kind of like two orders to get like another sample of it um and that and like clean perfume so normally like their perfume samples I don't really always get um and that, but clean is one that I will always kind of pick up just because I love their scents. I just find it really nice. Um, so I did pick up more uh, bobby pins. So I do find these like work pretty well. And I like the packaging with it. So this is going to go up to my cottage. Um, and that, so I picked up another pack just so I'm all prepared. Just counting down until May 2 4, um, or like Victoria Day weekend up in Canada, because that starts cottage country. And it just gets me so excited. Because, um, like, living in the city, people are crazy. And then you just go up to like the cottage, sitting on a beach, relaxing, being out in nature. It's just wonderful. And it's what gets me through life, basically, is I just wait for it um getting back to things um some of the products that I did also get was they had the Tarte um palette so I really like uh my Tarte Pro Glow palette uh just because like this is probably like my go-to contour shade when I want to kind of carve out uh my cheeks if I'm gonna kind of add warmth to my paleness um so I kind of wanted one where it was like the blush, sorry, it smells nice. Um, sorry, the blush, the contour, and like a highlight all in one. And I don't mind that it's like a little bit smaller and that like, it's not too bad. I think my brush can still get into it. So just kind of bam, going with that like not too bad so I kind of don't have like any blush or contour highlight on my face I just kind of have eye makeup but let's test this out because I don't know I like I like playing with makeup I like just being like let's be silly let's try things it's the end of the day right like I just think it's a nice natural bronzer in that so we'll just kind of do half my face so we can kind of see that difference at first I won't continue the video that way <laughs> and like so I'll just kind of go in scalp out my jawline or cheekbone and then kind of go up with my forehead so I might tap in again and kind of start there and then just kind of blend out and then what's ever left kind of take it down there and that I think when you <laughs> have the one side done it definitely looks a little weird And then, oh, it's a nice clean brush. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to get you dirty. <laughs> but going in. So like not a bad color. My application maybe wasn't the greatest. My brush I kind of let dry with like a little 
folder, so it was a little too compact, but you just keep blending until it looks better. <laughs> and then just kind of going in with the highlight. So we can kind of see the difference, bam. And then I feel like quick time to make sure my face is a little bit more even. So I don't look like a weirdo. But like, I fear like I would be like one of those people just to kind of be like, let me show you on one side and then go out like that because I struggle at life. And I just like find with like my face contour, I don't want it like, I just want it looking natural. I don't want to look like, I don't know, like I don't want to look necessarily full glam. Uh, and that like, I just want to look pretty, but whatever you like to do is fine. Like makeup is something nice because it like has no rules. Like people will be like, don't do this. And then you'll see on YouTube that they're like, oh, let's try it this way. And it works for some people. Like it's always going to be different. All right. So if we can kind of see like a better blush application. So it was just kind of my brush was a little too compact. But now I have nice rosy cheeks. So I'm happy that I picked this up and I think it was like $23 Canadian. So I thought it was like a really good price. And then it's like kind of like all in one, a great to do to go pack that I definitely think I would probably bring this up to my cottage. So getting into some more of my products that I got. So from Sephora collection, they had like one of their scrubs. So I think it's just like a new scent, but I have just gone into scrubs that I feel like I have to test them all to see like which one's really the best. Sorry, as I'm like just sticking my finger in it and playing around with it. Um, I'm just kind of feeling like I think they forgot my scrub in it. Okay, sorry. When I was putting my finger in, I was like, I don't feel like any scrub, but kind of taking it and then putting it on the back of my hand, I now feel it. So that's reassuring because I was like, uh, I think they're just using like the little bit of seeds. If we can see those black specks, I thought like, oh, that's, that's the only thing that they're going to use. So I'm excited to try this out and it has like a nice floral scent. I don't know. I think it's maybe almost like that lilac smell, which is one of my favorite smells out there. So I will have to try that out. Um, and then I did get Sephora's kind of glow pads, uh, and that just cause I found it like maybe a little bit more expensive. And to me, like from reading the reviews, it kind of seemed like it was like OxyClean, um, more so. And it's like, cause it, they call them peeling pads. I feel like they're not peeling pads and that, so we just put that makeup on like you should more so be using this with like clean skin right because it's not really meant to be a makeup remover but I'm not gonna judge it on that <laughs> I just wanted to see if it like did kind of like peel the skin like a real peel pad should I'm really disappointed in what they call peels. 
like when it like actually peels up your skin and bunches it needs to be classified as something else so that I can just find those products um and whatnot so it's not as like stringent as like your oxy clean pads and that um I think like it did a like nice job so I think like these would be something nice kind of like uh like if you don't wear kind of face products to kind of like put on your skin to kind of pep up your skin right more so I think you're supposed to use it at night time but I feel like there would be other things that I would use where I kind of like it for just kind of clearing my skin making it nice and hydrated so I definitely think I would maybe like take these to work to use and then I did get because I order things online because you get more from Sephora I did get the Bjorjo Color Me Brilliant, which is their bamboo and mushroom hair protector. I just, I just don't understand what it is really. Like you're gonna make my hair stay nice. It definitely smells like L'Oreal Kids um, shampoo, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, right? So it's kind of like a fruitier smell and that, but I think it's just supposed to help keep your hair from fading, which I go into a chlorinated pool on a regular basis. My hair stands no chance at that. And then my last one was the Kat Von Dean, her new mascara. So I'll definitely give this a try the next time I kind of do a makeup. It's in a squishy tube. So that's, I think that's something like interesting. Um, and you know what, like it's a good enough sample that I can get it on my eye. Cause sometimes I find like the more expensive ones don't always do the best sample sizes, AKA hourglass where I can't get it onto my face. Uh, and that, um, cause my face is too big. Um, but overall, like I love my Sephora. I'm so excited for the Sephora sale. And that I'm kind of like, oh, like I'm excited you have a sale, but I don't know what I'm going to buy. I feel like I just buy everything because I'm like, oh, it's new. I need it. Uh, but now when the sale comes, I'm like, oh, I feel like I have to buy something because it's a sale, but I don't know what. So sorry to anyone out there that's like, stop buying things. Stop it. You're crazy. I apologize if that irks your soul. Um, and that, um, but we can become friends and then we, you can share my Sephora addiction, um, and things like that. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.